<laughs> I love this music. I love this music, too. It means it's time for Meal Prep Mondays with nutrition consultant Shauna Thomas here again. And today we're talking about recycle, reduce, reuse. Maybe not the other two R's, but definitely reduce. Reduce yes. waste mm -hmm. and, you know, getting economical about the food that we have in our fridge. That might be not at its prime. Absolutely. <laughs> you know it. It's so important that we're repurposing mm -hmm. this food and we're not just throwing it out, right? 63% of the food that we as Canadians throw out, we could actually be eating. Eating. That's a mm. wild That's a statistic. Lot. Isn't That's that crazy? It's more than of half waste. of yeah. the food yeah, that exactly. we have. So anyway, you can save tons of money um, and really reduce your food waste. So here are three recipes that we're repurposing some of the most common foods that we throw out. And yeah, you, you were talking about like the sort of ears and stuff ears. growing out of these potatoes, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, this, this, this is an example of some of you, oh, I'm not going to use this, but you can put it to use in this amazing soup. You can totally still eat potatoes that have all of these eyes coming mm -hmm. out of them. You can use um, softer onions, mm -hmm. uh, garlic that maybe is past its prime, and you can make this delicious potato mm. and onion soup. Wow. Um, it's so easy to make, you could even make it in mm. a blender. Really? Like, really, really could. Okay. I mean, you have no to cook kidding. the potatoes. Of course, yeah. But, yeah. Um, but really, on the stovetop, it's mm -hmm. onions, potatoes, garlic, that's really it. You cook everything down, add, I think I added some thyme, you right. know, whatever mm -hmm. herbs nice you have in there. In there yeah. uh, salt and pepper, broth, and then, delicious. if you want to make it nice and creamy at the end, add some Greek yogurt, Nick. Is that what that that's is? That's all you do? Yeah. 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 Add a little that Greek yogurt. Cream, so yeah. Greek yogurt. So exactly. Mm. Point of no return, though. If it if it's moldy or anything, like yeah. Like so how do you tell so when if, it's thrown out? Yeah. Throw it if out. there is mold on it, don't eat it. But if it's just wrinkly mm. like this yeah. and it just has like these little sprouts, mm. you can totally, totally mm. still you, eat would those. Would you peel those off? Or? Yeah, yeah. Cut yeah. them yeah. off. Okay. Maybe yeah. peel it mm -hmm. and then uh, mm -hmm. cook it just this is as delicious. you normally. Right? So good. Oh my it's goodness. So good. Yeah. So the next biggest thing. This is more breakfasty. Yeah. This is more breakfasty, desserty. The next biggest thing we throw out is apples, right? And I think a lot of the time it's because we overbuy them or we buy that big bag. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. right, yeah. and so these ones are bruised. You can see that the skin can get a little bit of wrinkles yeah. and stuff like that. Your um, kids would be picky to eat this if you cut it up in their exactly, lunch. Exactly, yeah. right? The bruises, mm -hmm. like kids don't want to eat those apples with the bruises. Yep. So what you do is you peel them, cut them up, and you make a stovetop apple crisp. Mm. So you don't even have to okay. bake this. Oh. You cook it on the stove with a little bit of butter, maple syrup, um, a little bit of salt yeah. to draw Thanks, that moisture mm. out, and then I love oh, cinnamon. It's warm. Nice and warm. It's so warm. Yeah. Ooh. So a little cinnamon in there. You cook the apples down. And then you don't even have to make that topping and put it in the oven. No. You can just use granola. You just buy the granola. Uh, yeah, right, buy the right. granola, make the granola, put that oh on top. Goodness. Super, super simple wow. and easy and, and delicious. And storage is good too because apples can last a mm -hmm. long time. Some yes. people just leave them out and they kind of... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you don't see them, right? Maybe they're at the back yeah. of like, you know, oh your fridge or the back of a, a counter and you don't see them kind of going bad. And one apple really does spoil the bunch. So if you have yeah, one, mm -hmm. you know, that's going bad, it will spoil yeah, others. So get it out of there. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so, why they say bad apple. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Are those okay. hemp parts? No, those, those are, are pepitas. Sorry, pepitas. Those that's pepitas. what I meant to say. Yeah. So I throw those in My mouth said hemp parts, my brain said pepitas. Yeah, but either or. This could be a dessert, like add some vanilla ice cream on top, like, exactly. done. Mm -hmm. You got wow. it. Or mm -hmm. Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. Little wow. extra protein. You were salt baying that over there. I was earlier. salt baying this. That was for my daughter. Yep. Um, so any herbs or greens that you have that are wilting in your fridge, you can turn into pesto. It doesn't have huh. to be basil. Really? Yes. Really? So this one is made with. Um, I had some wilted parsley. parsley. Okay. I had some spinach, baby spinach, just lying around, and it does not look good, but it's still mm. perfectly fine, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's not something that you maybe want to toss on top of a soup to make it look pretty, right? Um, because it's just to a garnish. little past its prime, Cilantro but it's still. Too? Yeah, oh, sure. Wow. Why not? I mean, if you like that, right? Like, if yeah. you don't like cilantro, you're making a pesto out of it. Yeah. It's going to concentrate those flavors. Oh, okay. But I added Parmesan cheese, garlic, um, salt and pepper, a little olive oil. You just blend it all in the food processor mm -hmm. or blender, and you yep. have some pesto. So you can Thank top you. it with also these tomatoes, these wrinkly tomatoes. They're still perfectly wrinkly good to tomatoes. eat. Wrinkly tomatoes, I like right? that. Yeah. Once yeah. you cut them up, you can't tell anything. You can't anything. tell. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can't. And I mean, you can peel them, too, if you want, if you really want to get rid of that skin. Mm -hmm. But you can always repurpose this stuff. If it hasn't mm -hmm. really truly mm -hmm. gone on bad mm. or moldy, right? You well, can't make something. Eyes, and you've turned something that was wrinkly into yeah, something beautiful. Yeah, they're so beautiful. Right? Look at that. Wow. Yeah, and I figure, you know, if there's enough cheese and garlic in it, I mean. Yeah, it hides whatever. Mm -hmm. no, really yeah, good. yeah mm -hmm. exactly. Like a way to save some money and sort of make sure you're using all that you buy at the same time. Yeah, Wait, always must, shop your fridge mm -hmm. and your pantry first, right? And you peel off the leaves from the stem. You don't blend the stem, do you? I blend it a little you bit do? in the stem. Okay, okay. Yeah, I threw a little bit in there, but yes, I took most of mm. it off. But it's okay if some of it goes in there, too. It's not going to hurt you. All right, Shona, where can we find all this? All of these recipes and videos will be on Shauna Thomas Nutrition on Instagram, so check it out.